We are going over the Intro to Inequalities Guided Notes. My learning target is I can represent solutions, write and graph one variable, one step inequalities to represent real world problems. So an inequality is a mathematical sentence that shows that the values on each side are not equal. So some examples could be x is greater than 6, x is less than 6, x is less than or equal to 6, and x is greater than or equal to 6. To solve an inequality, you follow the same process as you would an equation. So when you graph inequalities, if the inequality has the symbol less than or greater than, the number is not included in the values. And we would use an open circle on the graph. If the inequality has the symbol less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, then the number does or is included in the values and we would use a closed circle on the graph. So let's do some examples. Example number one says graph x is less than three. So I would go to positive three. It's not going to be equal to three. So we're not going to include that number. And then x can be anything less than three. All right, example number two, I like to rewrite this. X is less than or greater than three. So I'm going to use a closed circle because it's less than or equal to, so it includes three. And then it's anything also less than three. And I also kind of notice that when my X is on the left, my arrow kind of points the direction that this is the pointy part of this um, inequality is facing. All right, example number three, I'm going to rewrite this x is greater than three. I'm just putting the x on the left side, making sure that the open part is still towards x. Um, so this is going to be an open circle and it's going to be anything greater than three. So I'm going to go this direction. So notice that the pointy part of the inequality is pointing it this way. And my graph is also pointing that way. And this only applies if X is on the left side. All right, graph X is greater than or equal to three. So I go to three, do a closed circle, and then it's greater than or equal to, so I'm going to go this direction. All right, so we also need to know how to write an inequality. So when we um, are reading word problems and we see this symbol, we look for keywords like less than, below, fewer than, um, when we see this symbol, we look for less than or equal to, no more than, not above, does not exceed, at most, or maximum are some keywords. For this one, you may look for greater than, more than, above, exceeding. And then this one, you could look for greater than or equal to, at least, no fewer than, minimum, no less than. All right, so let's do these practice problems. Number one, we're going to graph X is less than seven. So seven would be right here, open circle, and then anything less than seven. Number two, 12 is less than or equal to X. I'm gonna rewrite this as X is greater than or equal to 12. So I'm gonna put a closed circle and then it's gonna be equal to and greater than, so this direction. All right, number three, it says write an inequality for the situation. 
as an athlete, you should eat at least 3,000 calories a day. So that means that you need to eat equal to 3,000 or more. So it'd be X is going to be, let's see, at least greater than or equal to 3,000 calories a day. All right, number three, write an inequality for the situation. Megan needs to read more than 20 minutes per day. So not equal to 20 minutes, it needs to be more than. So X is greater than 20.